Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are one day away from Future Stars team number two in FIFA 23, and we're starting to ask the questions, who is going to be in this team? Is team two going to be better than team one? There are still a lot of young stars out there that we hope to get cards in the Future Stars promo, and we really don't have a lot of news yet on who's going to be in this team. But what I want to do today is take a look at the potential of team two being better than team one based off the leaks that we do have and just what we know about future stars teams because there's been a trend actually in the past couple of years i want to look at that with you guys and of course ea finally turned it up a little bit yesterday with the content in future stars with the timber sbc and the 82 times 20 it almost felt like we were getting a swaps pack of some sort as an sbc yesterday that was a nice surprise and an sbc that a lot of people did and guess what sbc fodder is up even further because of that yesterday and of course we had a new team of the week yesterday it brought some pretty interesting cards to this game and impacted a lot of prices but i think those price impacts specifically on the hakimi team of the week card is something i want to talk about today because this guy i think is not going to hold his price for forever i mean this he only been in packs for one day right it's not going to last but i want to take a look at that and what else to expect today on a thursday in fifa 23 so if you're excited for the video hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new hey guys i'm here with some breaking news from manscaped they now sell beard products the best in men's grooming just got even better with this beard hedger pro kit and i've got all the products here right in front of me that i want to showcase for you guys today really quickly but also tell you about this amazing limited time deal 20 percent off and free shipping at manscaped.com on any of these products or any other manscaped products individually or in these kits together now let's talk about this brand new beard pro kit we have got the trimmer 20 different cutting lengths no more having to figure out all of the guards that you want to put on for whatever length that you want it's all in one a twistable and adjustable length adjust the guard to the length that you want this is a fully waterproof machine that will get it done wherever you need it to get done also comes in a nice little carrying case here shout out to manscape for that and the products inside of this kit as well the beard conditioner the beard shampoo because these specific shampoo and conditioners are designed to moisturize reduce ingrown hairs replace natural oils and promote beard health we also come with the beard oil and the beard balm so you want to shape it up if you've got a longer beard this is perfect for you so whether you've got a short stubbly beard like me or you've got a long beard all of these products together or separately will be perfect for you in keeping up your perfect men's hygiene now again 20 percent off manscape.com and free shipping with this order of the beard pro kit the brand new product or any of these individually or other manscape products on their website make sure you check it out link is in the description and in the comments back to the video let's start from the top with the one player that is truly leaked right now for future stars team number two it's only one player really it's in Ketia. That's the only leak that we have right now that is concrete. From Foot Sheriff, this is the only Team 2 card we have. And honestly, that's a nice card. I would put that on the same level or around the same level as like a Cherokee that we got in the mini release. Though, we still await some bigger names and some more news on leaks. And I think we're going to get that today on Thursday. Watch out early today, maybe later throughout the day. I feel like Foot Sheriff is going to be busy today tweeting out a lot of names, tweeting out a lot of cards because it's the day before a promo. We don't have much news and future stars are like last week they were leaked pretty early on so watch out for that today this could be a nice fun card but like i said i don't think this is like one of the stars if you compare this to mudrick you compare this to uh the Julian alvarez or guys like musiala or cavaradona or enzo fernandez that we hope are going to be in team two it's not necessarily a top one or a top two card. Now, this is a prediction right here from Donk on Twitter. I'll put a link down below in the description of this. He's got the big names in here that we want to see. And we think about Team 2 better than Team 1. And with these Future Star promo teams, as I'm going to show you in a second, usually they're pretty level from Team 1 to Team 2. There's two teams of Future Stars every single year. But for Team 2, we really want to see some big names like Musiala, like Enzo Fernandez, and Kavicha, Kavaradona, as he's known, right? The top three guys right here are a must in Team 2 of Future Stars. Now, there's still a lot of players that we would love to see, right? Simons, Araujo, Carvalho, the incorrectly leaked SBC card uh, from last week. And there's obviously going to be some lower tier ones that are cheaper, pack filler if you call them, and just some cheaper cards like we always see in promo teams, like the Gehi, like the Costa, Spence, Vandeman, and those types of players. So it's not going to be a team full of absolutely insane cards, but 
I do want to remind you guys, this is not a concrete leak whatsoever, but let me remind you that during the Team 1 of Centurions, this guy on Twitter, FIFA23 leaked, he also has a TikTok account. He posted Zlatan and he posted uh, Marco Royce and nobody else was posting them and they ended up being true. He has also posted Musiala this time around and Kavicha Kavaradona. So we don't know. Again, it's not concrete because this is a prediction and we can't believe those leaks just yet. But seriously, watch out today because hopefully Team 2 is going to be good, especially those top tier players. If any of these, well, actually, if all of these three are in, I feel like most people would think that this team too would be a W, but really what matters a lot too is what's the middle tier of this team going to look like, right? Araujo would be a perfect card. Obalde from um, Barcelona would be perfect cards to put in this promo team. Um, a lot of people think about Garnacho. Uh, Garnacho is still not in FIFA, so unless EA add him today, I don't know if he's going to be a part of this team two promo. Like he literally does not even have a card in FIFA Ultimate Team at this moment so watch out for the leaks today but i would imagine team two and team one are actually going to be pretty similar because this is what i wanted to show you from the past couple of years last year's fifa 22 team one of future stars we had some big players vlahovic bellingham smith rowe chameni those guys were all pretty expensive right you go on to the team number two of future stars if i go up and find it right here you have a big pedri gravenberch lacroix and Verts was like a semi-big card, but then the rest are pretty cheap, right? So last year we had a bunch of big cards and then a bunch of kind of L ones around them. This year we have a pretty balanced team with some stars at the top with Mudrik and Alvarez. So hopefully we see at least three or four stars of guys that are around five, six hundred k or more. We do have a couple cards: Adiemi, Gavi, Vitinha, Govardiol, and Cherky that are holding their price pretty well from Team One. So really, I don't think that a Future Stars Team Two this year is going to blow Team One out of the water. It's probably going to be pretty like similar as it was in previous years, right? You take a look at Team One of Future Stars and FIBA 21, pretty solid team, couple big names, and a lot of just you know cheaper cards in there too. Same thing with Team Two, so I would expect the same thing this year from Future Stars Team Number Two. Nothing amazing, but some really solid players and some of the names that we really wanted to see, and hopefully those big three names like we talked about are going to be in this promo. So that's kind of what I'm thinking about. Watch out for leaks today. There should be some more. On Twitter. The last thing I want to talk about too is I know we've just had another one of these Future Stars dual potential um, SBCs come out yesterday with the Timber, which we're going to talk about in a second, but we haven't seen any of these guys in packs. And that is something that we did see last year. We saw the Ferran Torres with the striker and the right wing version. We had Elmas and I think it was Tomiyasu as well. There were three different like dual potential cards last year. And in FIFA 21, I believe there was a couple of them as well. Yeah, Gio Reyna was one of them. Um, and then I think Diago Dalo was one of them and maybe even Linus. I forget who the last one was but there were like those dual versions right and we haven't seen that yet could we see that as a part of this year maybe that's still to come so keep an eye out for that as well but maybe ea have stopped that um inside of future stars for this year so let's take a look at the content yesterday though right and kind of shift into today on thursday what are things going to look like well of course Yesterday, we finally got a Gamble Pack SBC with that 82 times 20. It was, a, it was a nice SBC to see, if I'm being completely honest. We were hoping for something like that, and it gave us a chance to pack future stars, although I have to be honest, I saw like nobody packing future stars from that SBC pack yesterday. Now, prices on the market for these guys, they've stayed about the same. They've kind of not moved, right? Vitinha is still about 270, 280. Elanga's maybe down like 5k, Adiemi's down just a little bit, and this is normal, right? Usually on Thursdays with marquee matchups, and it's a rewards day as well, you see people sell off cards just a little bit, and prices usually drop just a little bit on Thursdays as people anticipate the next promo and stuff like that. Like this Cherokee, I believe yesterday was like 680k, now he's like 630, 640. So these guys are down a little bit, but not that much, um, and I think the content yesterday maybe pushed those cards down just a little bit as well because it actually was some good content. And I want to take a look at the price of these SBCs that we dropped yesterday as well, or that EA dropped. 75% upvote on this 82 times 20 pack. 91,000 coins to do this. Like, if we're talking good value terms here, this necessarily isn't that great of value. I opened mine, only got one walkout. We opened others and got four or five walkouts in, in these packs. Again, it's a gamble pack, but the reason why EA gets a lot of people to do this is because you get 20 cards back. So you do two SBCs, you turn in 22 players, and you get 20 cards back. Well, that's not too bad, right? Well, you turn in an 83 and an 84 rated squad. Two 85s are required. 85s hit their a boom point again. I don't know what it is with EA and 85s. 
It seems like every single, like, look at these graphs, man. 85s on average are the best rating of fodder to invest in every single week. Look at Jorginho, bro. Every week since the beginning of January, 8K, boom, 15. 8k boom 16 down to 10 boom up to 15 like every single week these guys just go crazy it's like 85s are the new fodder meta but 84s 86s are up as well basically anything 86 and below is up right now because of the 85 requirements and a lot of the 83s and the 84s that are required in that 82 times 20 SBC, right? Taking a look at the 83s, yesterday they were around 1,600. They spiked up. A lot of these guys were like two and a half, some of them 3,000 coins. Uh, some 84s, I bought an 84 Bonucci yesterday at like 7.9K because he was in a solution. I had no idea. Just bought him really quick to finish off the SBC, right? These guys spike like crazy when we have these SBCs drop. So if you still have your fodder, I do feel like this spike yesterday was probably one of the best times to sell it. I don't know what we're going to get today on Thursday that would make this fodder, you know, really spike up again. Of course, an 85 plus player pick refresh will help a last minute fodder sale if you have anything else there. But fodder on Thursdays usually isn't going up that much because people know that tomorrow and Friday is going to be more supply with lightning rounds. And of course, we have marquee matchups today, which usually ends up supplying the fodder market a little bit as well. So it was a great time for fodder yesterday if you did end up selling it. And the high tier, you know, it just it hasn't moved as much, right? Ter Stegen, 31,000 coins. These guys have really not moved too much since the weekend. They went up a little bit on Tuesday, like 30,000 coins to 33, back now at like 30 to 31. This higher tier of fodder will probably just maybe stay the same or go down a little bit as we head into the weekend this weekend until Friday when we have that uh, hero player picks going to refresh. We'll talk about that um, tomorrow, of course. So watch out for your fodder in that regard. But the lower tier, if it spikes again today, I would definitely sell it. Now, speaking of SBCs, and of course, the other big SBC that we had yesterday was the Quinton Timber. And I think this helped out the 84s on the market yesterday as well. 90% upvote on this card. W from EA Sports. Need we say anything else? You look at the upvotes and downvotes on both versions. Whether you wanted to go with the center back to get the lengthy on an anchor or an architect chemistry style, this card is really, really good as a center back. I went with the center defensive mid card because, I mean, look at these stats, man. And EA, this is the kind of boost that we wanted for a lot of these future star cards. Even when you look and are really nitpicky like we have been with these cards, this guy got 90 reactions and 87 composure. That's a lot better than some of the low 80 stats and some in the 70s that we were seeing for other Future Stars cards. But a W boost from EA, 4 star, 4 star on the CDM. I went with the CDM version and a lot of your um, you know, Dutch and your Eredivisie links, especially this Gokpo card, how are flying in price 74k. And honestly, I don't see this going down uh, today really at all. I, I think just I just see it going up because more and more people are doing this SBC. It's really easy to link this guy with one or two special cards and maybe a manager um, from the Eredivisie that is Dutch as well. I even have the um, Timber SBC that I did yesterday in my starting 11 right now, trying him out because I had this, you know, Eredivisie right back in the club with VVD, with a manager and Timber full chemistry W, right? It's just a really, really fun card to try out. Only 50,000 coins. I would imagine that on the market, this card would be at 50K or even a little bit more, regardless of the not as meta links, as you would say, in this game. So that's just W content from EA Sports. I don't know if it's going to continue today, though, because Thursdays are honestly a bit quieter of days most of the time. But we have a couple interesting leaks, and I want to point this out to you guys because we actually have a lot of leaks right now for SBCs. We have the De Ketelera that we've talked about. That the more that I think about that, that could be an SBC delay, but it also could be our SBC on Friday. It's kind of a competition between this Taram and that De Ketelera for who's going to be on Friday. But this was another leak from yesterday. Another Hullet Gang center mid, most likely Hullet Gang. These are predicted stats, but a Hullet Gang center mid from the League One. We've had so many League One midfielders, but this one, since it's French and these stats look pretty good and is in form that he has in the game, um, has you know been pretty popular for some people on a very low budget. This is a pretty big SBC when it's going to end up dropping as well. So a Hullet Gang French center mid is always going to turn some heads. So that's one leaked SBC that we have. But we actually have two more moments SBCs. One of them, MLS Carlitos Vela is coming as a moments SBC. I really don't know what the idea here is from EA. What's the point? Are these like former guys that were future stars um, that are towards the end of their career that they're getting 
kind of boosted SPCs for, but I'll be honest, I'm not going to complain because a nice MLS card like this links to Hugo Sanchez, links to the Gareth Bale that we just got a couple of weeks ago during Team of the Year. This is a WSBC in my book. EA, please give him five-star skills and a nice boost. That's a cool SBC, and so is this uh, Jovetic, man. And I think a lot of people, if you're new to FIFA, you don't remember the legend of this Jovetic, a FIFA legend of old in the Bundesliga. Um, obviously not the easiest to link, but with some Bundesliga love that's been shown recently with special cards, might be a nice card for him. Uh, it it kind of just feels like with Jovetic and the Vela, it's kind of like maybe guys that had promising careers early on uh, that EA is trying to recognize. And guys, we can't be too upset about cards like this because this is just fun, cool content where we get to try out cards that we normally don't get special cards for. So I can't complain too much about this as long as they get them out at a good price and have some pretty decent stat boost. It'll be fun cards to try. So those are all of the leaks that we have right now. Honestly, I have no idea what's going to drop today on Thursday in terms of a player SBC. Since we had the Timber player pick yesterday, I could easily see today just being a very quiet day. If you have not completed marquee matchups yet, make sure you do that. I'm telling this to myself as well because I have not finished the Feyenoord and PSV um, section that gives out a token. This one's going away today. And I do believe we will get another token today in marquee matchups. We are currently on 20. Uh, 20 tokens. This new one today in Marquee Matchups will be our 21st. If we get any others, we'll go above that. But we have 20 tokens right now after two dropped yesterday in the Silver Stars. So that's probably the most expected thing of content today is a new Marquee Matchups with a token. So watch out for that. And of course, um, maybe something else in objectives. I doubt they would drop the Nuno Tavares today on a Thursday when that's probably going to drop tomorrow on a Friday when they would drop another one of those uh, Future Stars Academy players. And then I guess we could see a loading screen today, right? That could be a piece of information alongside of leaks today that we would look for in terms of new cards to look forward to tomorrow in the Future Stars promo. So I don't know if today's going to be that exciting of a day besides a refresh of the 85 plus player pick. Um, it's probably going to be a quieter day, but that will gear us up for a really hype day tomorrow on Friday. Now, let's talk about Team of the Week and market a little bit because yesterday brought us one of the better Team of the Weeks that we have had, or actually the best Team of the Week that we've had since the World Cup ended and we had that reset with some of the bigger upgrades, right? We're taking a look at a Hakimi uh, team of the Week card that is all, almost the exact same as his Phenoms card. Now, this Hakimi was down to 330,000 coins yesterday in the first or second hour that he was released in packs. A lot of people saw the Team of the Week yesterday and opened up saved Team of the Week packs because specifically Hakimi and Rafinha and just multiple players in here Holding value over discard price, right? Come on. Tammy Abraham's almost a uh, fodder price for an 88 rated in but that's a pretty good card. Kaylor Navas in here as well, but specifically for Hakimi and Rafinha, those are nice cards in a team of the week. So GG's EA Sports for doing that. But with this with this whole team specifically, but Rafinha, Hakimi, and Coman in particular, be very careful with these cards, especially Hakimi, because I do believe they will drop off more throughout this weekend. Guys, they've only been in packs uh, for a day. And a lot of people opened up their state saved up Team of the Week packs yesterday. So these guys started really low and they went up in price, right? You can see the graph all the way down to 350. He was actually 330, 340 for a moment. And now he's back up to 400,000 coins. Same thing with Rafinha, right? He was 120K. He's 175. I would look to sell off these guys today at some point and get out of them before tomorrow on Friday. Weekend League Supply hits and of course the team of the week packs hit now the same thing if i were knowing that this team of the week hakimi was going to drop i bought one of these hakimis and just flipped it actually i bought it for 410 on stream i just sold it for 490 but this card as well since it's basically the exact same with one passing and one defensive difference i believe this phenom hakimi will drop down in price it'll probably still be higher in price than the inform but i think it's going to drop down still as this 87 goes down, this one is probably going to follow suit. So that's one thing I would be very careful with because I know that Akimi card is very, very popular. And it's just more of a reason to play Weekend League this weekend if you've got the time. This card as a red would be an absolutely insane red, especially if you did the Ramos SBC, if you have played the one Mbappe. 
that's a card so many people will be hunting in red picks this weekend for sure. So other things to walk, watch out for on the market. The market's still pretty healthy. Um, you know, I've been making a couple coins here or there. I flipped some Rafinha, sold them too early. Here's the Hakimi that I was mentioning, but I still have a lot of my fodder in forums on the transfer list. I'm not super scared about getting those out right away because there's still probably some more SBCs are coming. We saw all the leaks, right? So more SBCs are probably coming that will require those. But for the rest of the market, I, it's still really good to trade in, right? I've been watching this Prime at toe. He's been fluctuating. A lot of your out of packs cards and even some of your impacts future stars were fluctuating a lot yesterday. I think that'll continue into today. But again, if we start to get a loading screen with leaks, usually Thursdays aren't really insane days for the market. Some people start to just think about what's coming for tomorrow with the new promo. So I would just say be careful careful on the market today. I'm not expecting tons of fluctuations here or there. Honestly, what I'm more expecting is if there are leaks, right? Even with like the Enketia card that got leaked, I never went and checked like Gabriel Jesus um, and his winter wild cards, but this card's usually around like 650,000 coins. He's like 690 or 700 right now. So he is up a little bit. Stuff like that is what I would watch for fluctuations on today. If there are leaks, like I'm really interested in the Alfonso Davies. Uh, I do believe this Davies card is already going up. He's like 330 or 340,000 coins. But if we get a leak for a Musiala being confirmed, I do believe this card will continue to go higher. Some of the other Bayern Munich links could go higher if they are down. And maybe even same thing for like the uh, Napoli links for Cavaradona or Chelsea links with an Enzo Fernandez. Maybe Mudrick today if um, an Enzo Fernandez was leaked. I mean, how many people would want to try to get Mudrick and the Enzo Fernandez in their team this weekend. So that's the kind of thing that I watch out for uh, on this game right now is just movements based off of the leaks that we could potentially see today. So hopefully today is a fun-filled day with a lot of information, a lot of hype building for Future Stars team number two. And uh, I don't expect a big content day, but if EA slipped in a player SBC, wouldn't be too mad about that. So that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate to put account. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.